Let's see, wait. Trey, on. first. Wait, okay, you want me to hold on? Hold on, let me make sure you're connected to my car, too. Okay. Are you driving? Like, yeah. Where are you going? I'm home. Where were you? <laughs> A friend. Trey, social distancing, Trey. What's wrong with you? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Try, Wait, I could literally, I could literally choke you right now. I'm screaming. No, because I'm uh, not because of social distancing. I, I'll tell you why whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm here. Trey, okay, I don't yes. start interviews like this, but I have to start like this. Why did you not try in that immunity, Trey? Trey. Because okay, so here's I, I could have oh. like, you know what's funny about it i could have uh-huh. won i could have uh-huh. won and i'm I know so you mad could have. i know you could have that was yours to win and like this thing was i had the tiki i thought i could trust yeah. matt so yeah. i was like okay i'm gonna play this tiki off and when people saw oh he didn't compete uh-huh. I-, I thought people were gonna be like oh wow like maybe this power he does have is real because he felt right. safe enough to not compete right but matt <laughs> was in on it too so yeah, uh, yeah i like i couldn't play it off i wish maybe if i wasn't so trusting and i did not tell him about uh-huh. the um Tiki thing i would have been good yeah yeah about it being nothing i, yeah. I probably would have been good Trey, you like you don't understand okay i'm gonna tell you about my thoughts on your game but like not too okay. in depth because i can't talk about specific things and normally i'm a, i try to not say as much but trey I, like, loved your gameplay. I was so into it. Like, I didn't realize... I knew you were a strong player. I didn't realize you were such a strong player. Like, you took this season by force. You were honestly probably the biggest threat this season. Honestly, like... And that, not me saying that. I'm not saying, you, I'm not saying you aren't, but I'm also not saying you are the best player. But you were the biggest mm-hmm. threat, without a doubt. The biggest scene, target, the biggest threat. Like, Trey, you did really, really good. Like... Thank you. <laughs> I, will, I will comment on this, though. In the beginning of the game, you did such a good job of, like, running things, but then, like, downplaying it. You'd be like, no, it's not me. Mm-hmm. And then people started exposing you. And then instead of, like, trying to clean up the mess, you were just like, yeah, it's me. Like, Trey, you were doing so good about being like, no, it's not me. But then towards, you know, towards the end of the game, you started being like, yep, it's me. I know I'm a threat. And then building yourself a bigger target, a bigger target, a bigger target. Why did because you do that? Because my thing... Okay, what my my thing was with that, um, I felt like everything was going to come out eventually. Yeah. And it's only, like, my whole thing is only so much I could lie. Like, it's only, like, I only could lie so much. And I only could downplay so much into people, like, come on, dude. And then people, if I'm not, like, up front and, like, saying certain things, people are not going to start being open. They're going to be more sneaky with me. Yeah. So I was like, well... Maybe I need to get to the point where I'm not, like, downplaying things because then people aren't going to be as trusting. And I'm like, mm-hmm. whoa, these, like, okay, I know I'm a threat. But, yeah. so, like, because I knew people, I, my whole thing, I was afraid of being blindsided. <laughs> yeah. Which happened, but, like, yeah. I was afraid of being blindsided early on because it was yeah. a thought. Like, you saw, like, the vote before um, pre-jury yeah i almost went home i mean yeah. the, the vote before merch i almost went home but i did so good at like recovering and like making like changing everything to do winter like i was so proud of myself because of that because i literally could have went home yeah because i didn't want to play my idol i wanted to like save it for merch but um mm-hmm. i kind of did that because i wanted people to be like well he's somebody i could use as a shield because i yeah. knew people knew i was a threat but like if I downplayed it, I feel like it was only going to hurt me more, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. No, yeah, I get that. Um, I was so sad that you weren't able to be on the call tonight, like, because you were such a big component of the season. So, obviously, that happens. Sometimes people aren't there for their tribals. But, like, I really wish that you could have been on. Um, I pers- I'm going to ask you some more questions in a second, but I'm just going to finish commenting. I personally, like, was very, very, very impressed with you. Um, I don't know if you tried to watch any of it yet, but whenever you got voted out, I think your whole tribe, like, everyone was like, good game, Trey. Like, he was a really good player. Like, they, like Connor mm-hmm. said, he was a really good player. Like, um, and then everyone else was like, good game, Trey, good game. Like, everyone was very vocal about that you played a good game. Do you think, had you sat in the end, you would have won this game? 
one hundred percent. But I knew, like, I called it. Drew. I told you. Um, I told. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I told you in an interview or on the call. I said I don't see like because I knew how I was playing. I felt like people yeah. knew. I was like, I don't think that I'm going to make it all the way to the end. I know I'm going to make it to the midway point, midway mm-hmm. merge, and then they're mm-hmm. going to take me out. Like I knew mm-hmm. it. Like I had this gut feeling. But oh, uh, if mm-hmm. I wish I would have tried in the community because I felt like. People like people made me feel safe. Yeah. And, like I felt like my plan was kind of like working of like the whole tiki thing. Like mm-hmm. I should have just been a little bit more ruthless and like, oh no, I'm just gonna get this immunity for myself because if I did, like yeah. Drew, mm-hmm. I like I feel like people don't think I, I'm a strong person when it comes to competitions, but I could win competitions. I feel yeah. like I could have possibly won challenges to get my like won the rest of the challenges to get my way I to think final you, I think you very well could have but you threw this one I know I know I know it's, it's okay in the moment you did what you thought was a smart move I see what you were doing where you thought they would believe your tiki you know it's it's just one of those situations Trey um, I do want to tell you this before I ask questions um, mm-hmm. I, I already told Emily she was my favorite player of the season I already told this to Viva though and I'm going to tell you my favorite alliance of the season is without a doubt um, you, Matt, and Viva. Loved that alliance. Was so iconic. Uh, so badass. Um, you want to talk about that alliance a little bit? Like your thoughts on it? Okay, I love that alliance. I feel like that alliance was the most random alliance ever mm-hmm. because going into the game, I knew I wanted to work with Viva. Like, mm-hmm. because me and her, night one, like, I'll say I love her energy. This is me. This is somebody I could, like, work with. And mm-hmm. Matt, like, to be try to be quite honest, I did not want Matt to be my close ally because we're friends. So right. I know people were going to see us as close. So I'm just like, uh, like, what do I do? Like, mm-hmm. should I really? And I was like, you know what? No, Matt is a trustworthy person. Me and him, like, we see eye to eye on mm-hmm. gameplay. So like, let's be good. But then me, but I wanted Viva to stay. They wanted yeah. to get rid of the and like you saw the very first vote. Like it was Viva, 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 but then I flipped it to Jeff and mm-hmm. because I wanted Viva in the game. But um once we kinda made the move against Will, like I was mm-hmm. kinda happy because Matt was kinda like iffy about Viva. But then once we um made that move with Will, that's when everything kinda like connected. And I was like, yeah. wait, this could be something that goes far because I felt like we all were loyal. And like mm-hmm. I feel like our alliance did so good, for sure. I felt like dominated in the merge, it mm-hmm. dominated the whole entire pre merge. I felt like in the mm-hmm. merge section of the game, I felt like we wouldn't have stuck. We wouldn't have stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like because of all the different connections, all the people wanting to win, being afraid of this person being a threat, like I don't feel like we would we would have like stuck. And knowing what I know now. I'm happier that I did get rid of Viva when I did. Because mm-hmm. I felt oh, like huh. it would have been more dangerous for me to keep mm-hmm. her around. Because so, she was second guessing me so many times. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, tonight you got blindsided. Who do you feel yes. the most betrayed by? Matt. I feel mm-hmm. so betrayed by Matt. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Like, I did not see this coming. I did not know. Like, it was going to be coming. Like, I was mm-hmm. so, oh, oh, wow. Like, mm-hmm. when you, like, text me and you were, like, ready for your exit interview, I was like, I, I was like, I yeah. went, oh, wait. <laughs> I was so betrayed by Matt because mm-hmm. I, I, I trusted him so much. And mm-hmm. usually I'm the type of player where, like, I trust people, but I don't get my whole 100% trust. And I wanted to, like, come yeah. into the game and be like, well, I can give somebody my 100% mm-hmm. trust. But I feel like so betrayed by Matt, but I'm not mad. Mm-hmm. I was going to ask that. Are you, how do you feel towards him? You said you're not mad. Like, what are your thoughts on the move? It was a good move. It was a good move. I'm not going to say it was, mm-hmm. if it was stupid, I would say it was stupid. Mm-hmm. It was a good move. Um, I, Honestly, I felt like I would have got rid of me long before. Mm-hmm. Like, I would have got me, rid of me, like, the start. Of my, after I did that thing with the idol, um, when I made, but I was yeah. safe the next time. When it was the double tribal council and I did the thing, I made them draw rocks. I would have been like, "Oh, he got to go." Yeah. I made the whole tribe draw rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I was too stubborn. Yeah. I would have like voted myself out at that point. Mm-hmm. So Wait, I have uh, a question. Okay, ask me. 
Okay. The night we had a conversation, I, I said something along on the lines of, I was talking about my gameplay, and I brought oh, up man. Sandra. What were you thinking of in that moment? Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Thank God you, you said Sandra. What was it? Because you mentioned how you play, like, Sandra. Let me remember really quick. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. There we go. Because Sandra's motto is, like, anybody but me. Trey, your mm-hmm. motto is the opposite. Your motto is not anybody but you. Your motto is whoever I want. It's not like, oh, I'm going to be okay with any name. If it's not the name you want, you're not okay with it. Like, I, there was times where, like, your whole alliance, your whole group was like, no, like, we all want to do this instead. We don't want to do that name. And you were like, but that's not what I want. Like, you never would settle <laughs> for another name. And I'm not saying it's a bad strategy. I'm just saying, like, you want mm-hmm. the opposite. It's not anybody but you. It's whoever the fuck you want, and that's it. That's who's going home. Like, that's what you're going to force, and you're not going to settle and just go with the group. You're going to set out to do what you want to do, and that's it. Because I, I, I think I just have a leader mentality. I hate being yeah. a follow the leader. And, like, mm-hmm. I want to play – like, I, I feel like Survivor is an individual game where everybody should be playing for mm-hmm. themselves. So I'm playing yeah. the game that I think would make me win, not the game that mm-hmm. I think would make anybody else win. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of happy I played with that. But it probably yeah. scared a few people because, like Bella said, alpha dog mentality. And, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But what was the other question you were going to um, ask me for? I was going to say – Obviously, Trey, you know, you um, are part of the jury now, so your game is over, but your experience in the game is not. You still get to vote for a winner. You still get to attend Skype Travel Consoles. Who are you rooting for? Um, I'm rooting for... I'm rooting for three people, actually. Okay, tell me who. I'm rooting. I'm rooting for Griffin because I feel like Griffin mm-hmm. is playing an amazing low key game. Like people see uh-huh. that he's playing both sides, but he's been able to do it flawlessly mm-hmm. and avoid being the target. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he has the social connections and like he's been like because everybody goes to Griffin for information. I like uh-huh. I knew what Griffin was doing, but I still went to him. I'm like information, information. Like hey, like let's do this. Let's make this move together. Everybody's going for, to him to make a move, and like mm-hmm. Griffin's getting all the information he he was the one telling people oh this vote might be this vote and like he's the one who has all the information um yeah. emma emma is like i i don't i don't care what anybody say i feel like emma is playing an amazing game because mm-hmm. she's playing a perfect low-key game because mm-hmm. one i got more blood on my hands for the jack move but mm-hmm. She didn't get any blood on her hands for the Jack Moore. And she agreed with me on doing it. Like, we agreed. It was, like, a consensus on, like, doing Jack together. Mm-hmm. So, like, she didn't get any blood for that move. And, like, I feel like she's been perfectly, like, sneaking her way around mm-hmm. in the game. And, like, I'm proud of her. Okay. I feel like she's been doing, like, very well with, like, the social connections, the mm-hmm. um strategy aspect of the game. Like, yeah, she. I feel like she hasn't really needed to win anything. Like mm-hmm. immunity wise for the game. Mm-hmm. So I'm proud of her for that. And Matt, because I feel like majority mm-hmm. of the moves I did, well, no, nah, I don't want to say I did. So Beck Angels mm-hmm. did. Matt did yeah. take credit for every single one of them. And yeah. I just feel like people aren't really seeing him that much. Mm-hmm. It's probably because I was in the game. I was kind of like overshadowing. But like, mm-hmm. I feel like people aren't really seeing his game as much. And he got Nora out, somebody who wanted him out, somebody who's targeting him. That's, mm-hmm. like, another big move. Then he got rid of me. So, like, I feel mm-hmm. like he's playing a good game, too. Not only that, I feel like there's other people who would be targeted before him. So, I feel like he's playing a good game. And he's a physical player. Because mm-hmm. he's done well in competition. And I feel like he has what it takes to, like, win immunity. If he wanted to go on immunity streak, I feel like he very well could. Mm-hmm. All right. Interesting. Um, for my next question, you know, if, there's not many seasons of reality noted left. Um, there is, the, you know, one returning season left in the mix. It's the all-star season, the final season. If you were to be reached out to and invited, you know, just out of curiosity, what would you say? Would you play again? I will 100% play again because okay. I love this experience. Like, it was so amazing to, like, just play mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I will 100% love to play mm-hmm. again, but Noted. I feel like 
from the outside looking in and from the inside looking out, like I feel like people would view me as a threat, so I would have to change up my strategy. Mm-hmm. And you never know. I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like I will one hundred percent play again. Love that. Actually, I have a good question from you. From that, um, you mentioned how much you loved this experience and this game. How was this game different from other games that you have played? Like, what was this game like for you? This okay for people. I love Survivor. Like. Over any reality TV show, I love Survivor more than Chandler. I love Survivor more than Big Brother. I like I love Survivor in general as a mm-hmm. whole, and I honestly feel like it was like a real Survivor experience, mm-hmm. and it was just I don't know. It's mm-hmm. so like I don't. It's just a good feeling, and mm-hmm. it's like I don't know. It's so. I don't know. It's good. It's good. Like, it's good. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just good. Thank you. Like, I appreciate I, I enjoyed that. this game so much. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, there's no word to, like, mm-hmm. explain it. It was just mm-hmm. an amazing game. And usually, like, mm-hmm. I'll be mad, like, oh, like, oh, I went home. But, like, yeah. I'm content. Like, I, like, I mm-hmm. feel like I did good. I feel like this gave me, because usually I'm always saying, well, I'm smart. Well, I mm-hmm. could do this. I could do that. And I feel like, mm-hmm. Some at like people see it sometimes, and but like people mm-hmm. aren't really to really able to like actually watch mm-hmm. and like see. But I feel like this time I was able in this game I was able to show like mm-hmm. no I'm I'm not just all talk mm-hmm. like I'm all show. Mm-hmm. So I hope like you seen that, and I hope like other people like see that. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I all those Trey, all those other games, they were child's play. Okay, you came into <laughs> this one, you came into this one, you killed it. If you ever tell someone all that you can do when they doubt you, just tell them to look over at Reality Noted Season 5. <laughs> they'll get a clear picture of what you're capable of. I'm so happy that you're walking out with your head held high, and you're happy and you're proud of the game you played and your experience. Because, Trey, you were a phenomenal player. It was absolutely amazing having you. Um, thank you so much, Trey. Really, thank you. It was great having you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Honestly, thank you. No it was problem. just, like, a wonderful mm-hmm. experience. Mm-hmm. No problem. That makes me really, really happy. I, I love hearing that. I have, I have good feelings right now because I love hearing that my, my game was a good experience <laughs> for someone. Also, okay. you say you wanted to and submit I a do, confessional before you come before I post it, right? Yeah, I do. I okay. do want to do a confessional. Wait. Okay. Uh, you're good. Also, like when you get done recording, I also have like a few questions I want to ask, like game related, because okay. I know this is gonna be posted. So yeah. I like have a, a whole bunch of other confessional. I mean, well, that's basically a wrap. But Trey, before I end it, the recording, do you have anything you want to mm-hmm. say to anybody watching? Any viewers, players? Um, I try. <laughs> I try my <laughs> best, y'all. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Trey. That was great having you. And.